Hi there guys and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make this nice logo wallpaper in Photoshop CS4, CS5 doesn't really matter there's nothing really complicated about this it just looks really smart so as you can see we have these two squares one on the slant one behind it normally uh, we have some text and a couple of brushes nice gradient I'm going to show you how to do this now it's pretty simple and as you can tell it looks pretty smart so I'm going to go file new All right, okay but before that we need to check our um, background, um, not a background, our screen resolution so we can put it in. So I'm just going to right click here, change, choose screen resolution, okay. And as you can see on my main monitor, it is um, 1440 times 900, okay. Exit out of that, go back to Photoshop. As you see, I've already put mine there from this tutorial, from this wallpaper actually. So you're going to type yours in there, okay. Right, so first off, I'm just going to hit control. Um, and backspace and that's going to fill it in with white okay um, well that will use your back color or if you want to use your front color you can hit alt and backspace and that will color it like so or you can use the paint bucket tool right there if you really want to okay that's just a hotkey for you control and backspace or alt and backspace to fill something in right so first off we're going to come down here to effects I'm going to click that choose gradient and overlay right okay so on the gradient I'm going to click down here, and I've already had this selected, and all it is going to be is going to be on the left, it's going to be black, so all zeros down here, and on the next one, I'm going to show you what this one's going to be now, it's going to be 73, 73, 73, 73, okay, sorry, oh, that's gone down, right, okay, so then hit OK, okay, and now we're going to choose, for the style, we're going to choose radial, we're going to reverse this like so, so the gradient, hit reverse, I'm just going to reverse it round and then the angle I'm going to choose 45 degrees and I'm going to set the scale up to 100 um, 111 in other words, it's 111 so 111 and hit OK so I have this nice black with the um, grey in the middle, looks pretty smart so now we're going to create those two squares, so I'm just going to create one square so I'm going to go click, hold shift bring it down like so, uh, let go, and I'm just going to come over here, and I'm going to click Control J or right click duplicate layer, so Control J will duplicate any layer, just seem to tell you there, right okay so first off, oops, um, we're going to want to center this out so make sure you've got your move tool selected, I'm going to choose shape 1 and I'm going to come up here and choose this one here, oh sorry, First off, you're going to hit Control and choose the thumbnail of this one here. So click that. You'll see all the marching ants on the side of this. Then you're going to come over here, center it, and center it in the middle. Okay. And do the exact same for the other one. Center that, and in the middle, like so. So now we can hit Control D, and that will deselect it. All right. And on the shape one, we are going to come down here to um, the effects key and we're going to choose color overlay now you won't be able to see anything for a minute because the other one's blocking it if we come over here to the color make sure our blend mode's normal, opacity is 100 I'm going to type this one in now and the code is 413838 now if you don't get that it is in the description okay so if you want to go down to the video description they'll all be there okay and okay again now on the top shape I'm going to hit control T and that will bring up the transform tools and I'm going to just just rotate this, click and rotate just a little bit round to the side like so now we are we can see the other one has been coloured in this grey behind it forgot to add a stroke to that so if I go back to the effects hit stroke and I'm going to make the stroke 2 pixels okay right now on the shape 1 we're going to go to effects again gradient overlay and now this is where we got that nice blue from. You could use any color you want, but for this tutorial I'm going to be using the blue. So the first code is going to be 044955. Okay, this will give us this nice dark blue. Okay. And then the next color it is going to be a nice lighter blue. And it is 5FBFF1. Now if you don't get these in the video description again. Okay, so we have a nice dark blue to a nice light blue. Okay and there we are and I'm going to choose a stroke and I'm going to make the stroke two pixels as well okay 
I'm going to zoom into 100% now. So as we can see, I've got a nice gradient there on behind it. Right, so we're going to want to create the text now. I'm just going to come over here to my text tool. Font I'm going to be using is 03 in the description again. Uh, okay, really nice font this actually. Now I'm just going to click. Right, PCD, so they're my initials for, you know, my company, Pure Creative Designs. You could use whatever you want. Um, I would just stick to two. You know, say if you're something for productions, you know, whatever, P, whatever you want. Always stick to your initials, look, this looks good on a logo. Alright, okay. Right, so, first off, we just want to want to duplicate this now. So, Control J again. And then that copy, I'm just going to drag below of the normal text, like so. Alright, okay. Now, on the first PCD, or, or whatever your text, but the first text we created, I'm going to go to effects gradient overlay okay and now I'm going to choose the um, one on the left I'm going to use this code it's going to be 1f oops 1f 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 pretty simple 1f 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 <laughs> okay and then on the other side it is going to be really simple again it's just 85 85 85 okay okay again and I'm gonna go with the stroke and I'm gonna make the stroke four pixels making sure we're on the outside okay and the color I'm using is gonna be black All right, okay so now we have our text now on this other one as you can see we sort of have this 3d well not 3d what am I about so sort of, yeah sort of 3d text actually yeah so sort of like this 3d coming from behind and I'm gonna show you how to do that now it's really simple to do so now on the second text layer. I'm going to hit control T. It's going to bring this up. Just holding shift. I'm just going to drag in quite a bit. So as we can see we've got it about oops, no, a little bit more. Yeah, about that much. That will do. So you just have a decent amount of um how can I sort of say it? Just a, just a decent amount of um text appearing from this side. Hit the tick tool up here. Okay, now I'm just going to go to my move tool, use my arrow keys, I'm just going to bring it in. Just so we have a bit merging here and a bit merging here. Now it's going to look a bit different on yours um, because your text is going to be different, but you will see a nice ref um, effect like that. Now, if you wanted to touch the bottom of the top, you could always just scale it up just a tiny bit and scale it down like so. So now, obviously, there's no little um, sort of bits missing like we see on this one. Okay. Right, so now we need to get rid of the edges over here. So first off, I'm just going to right click on the, the first text layer and choose rasterize layer. And do the same for the second text layer, rasterize layer. Once we've got that, I'm going to click on the top one, click on the bottom one. And I'm going to right click again and choose merge layers. Now that's just made it into one layer. I'm going to double click. I'm going to change the, te the text actually to text. <laughs> so we know that that there is our text. We're going to be working with that right now. So I'm just going to zoom in to 200%. Now if you don't do that, you're going to have to, it's just going to take you a lot longer, so make sure you do that. So we're going to go get the pen tool. And we're going to click, it doesn't really matter, just make sure you're somewhere in this stroke on the first one, on the first square, and click, and come down to the other one. Don't need to hold shift or anything, just normally click. Okay, and come out, and just go around this. Okay, like so. Now I'm going to right click inside of there, choose make selection, and I'm just going to make it no pixels, we don't need it to be feathered, OK, and then hit delete. And then control D to deselect, as you can see, we've got the text cut off there. I'm going to do the same to this side, so I'm going to come on this stroke here, down to the bottom bit, like so, and around, like so. Make selection, and the feather radius is going to be no pixels. And delete that. Okay, Control D. There we are. Right. So there we have our text cut off at the sides. And that gives it a nice effect. So now we're going to want to add those brushes. So as you can see, we have two little brushes behind here. It's up to you if you want to add these or not. I think they look pretty smart, but as you can see, it's looking all right at the minute. So I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm just going to rename this as brushes. Ooh. Okay. Now, once there, I'm going to get the brush tool. Now, the brushes I'm using are the Christmas brushes by, uh, I don't know how you say that, I'm not even going to try, 
But I don't, I don't think these even look that Christmassy. But if you want to just um, download them, they're in the description too. If I can find them, that is. But I'll up, I'll upload them to um, Mediafire or something like that if I can't find them. Okay. So now uh, let's see which one I used. I used this one here, so it's going to be the one, two, three, four, fifth along, and it looks something like this as we bring, when we bring it out. Now I'm going to scale it down to around 400. 400 mark just so it fits in yeah like so I'm gonna click doesn't matter about the color just make it black for now right that's okay and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna choose the second one like no sorry the third one it's gonna look something like that I'm just gonna scale this down quite a bit yeah, up to about 300 now I'm just gonna click in there it doesn't matter if anything's going off like so we're gonna delete that out later you know cut it out with the um, pen tool but first off once we're here we're gonna go normal um, I'm gonna hit this drop down menu here I'm gonna choose overlay that's just gonna color it in then we're gonna drag it below of the text so it's not over the text and now we need to get rid of these bits over the edges so that's pretty simple to do we're just gonna do what we did with the text I'm gonna get the pen tool I'm gonna go over this bit go around Okay. Um, sorry, what am I doing? Make. Oh, sorry. Right. Okay. So once we've got it like that, we're gonna right-click, make selection, no pixels, delete, and again around this one. Make selection. Okay. Delete. Control D to deselect. And then one more time around the end bit sticking out here. Now you can add your own brushes if you really want to. Um, these are just to demonstrate what you can do with them. Uh, I think they look alright. Okay. And delete. Control D. There we are. So that is it guys for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. I think it looks pretty smart. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash pcreatedesigns. Um, in the description too. Now I fit everything you've seen. All the colours. All the brushes. And the fonts. All in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this um, video guys, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys.